Welcome into the recap of the Bears 24 17 loss to the Indianapolis Colts on Saturday night in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Justin Fields drives. Folks, whether you win or lose in a preseason game, it really doesn't matter. What does matter is finding out what the heck's on your roster. And the Bears found a backup quarterback tonight. His name is not P.J. Walker. It is Tyson Bajan. Tyson Bajan was outstanding tonight. He is our Four Seasons player of the game. He was locked in. He was able to throw on the run. He was able to step back in the pocket and hit his receivers going through his progressions. And I thought he was excellent tonight. Excellent. That is a key. Roshan Johnson thought very, very good. Running the football averaged almost four and a half yards per carry. If you can get a running back and a quarterback out of what you watched tonight when your starters did not play, I think you've had a successful foray down to Indianapolis, Indiana. Our Vienna stat of the game, Tyson Bajan, 9 of 10 for 76 yards. 9 of 10. And I'm telling you, when he was on the move, out on the edge, he was excellent tonight. That is a huge thing for this franchise to find a developmental type quarterback. We've seen how long did Matt Nagy keep Tyler Bray around? Tyler Bray couldn't play. Tyson Bajan absolutely has a future with this franchise. And you can't put him on the practice squad because he could get plucked away. They have got to find a way to keep him on their roster. Or if he's on that practice squad, you better give him extra money to make sure he doesn't leave to go somewhere else because this kid can flat out play. I also thought Tyreek Stevenson had a rough night. Should have had an interception on a Colts touchdown. Ball went right through his hands. I thought he had his worst day of preseason, worst day of training camp. Uh, watching him, I thought he was a beast, but tonight, not so much. Our Felco player, our play of the game is going to be the two-yard touchdown run from Tyson Bajan. He was able to get to the end zone, but what I liked about him best was his ability to find receivers on the move. That was a key for the Bears tonight. Didn't think they were great defensively, but again, the top guys did not play. They did not use their first team throughout the evening. Justin Fields is standing there with a headset on, and again, this is just a preseason game. I expect after listening to Mark Silverman's pregame show on ESPN 1000 to see more of the first team next week, and then two weeks off till they get the Packers at Soldier Field to open the season on September the 10th. Have a great rest of your night. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.